for creating a form and a subform for data input. Currently we have a database and we'll just go to relationship that has students, enrollments and table courses. At the moment there is no data held within the student courses. So if I go into design and look at the view, you'll notice there's no data in there at the moment. But under table students, we have some students. We have some students in the table. And also in table courses, we have some courses that students can enrol in. Now in a previous tutorial, we made some lookups between the foreign keys and the primary keys, where the foreign keys can look up the primary keys. But those lookups will actually enable us to create effective lookups for enrolling students in the courses. So how do we go about creating a form and a subform? Well, we need to enroll students into class or have a student enroll into classes. So the parent's going to be student and the child will be courses. So a student is the primary entity and we're going to enroll them into courses. So in essence, this will be our parent form and this will be the child form here. And so when we've got the correct students in the subform, we'll be able to look up the information from courses and create the courses here. So let's get underway. So the first thing we need to do is create a form for our students. So I'm gonna click on students, go to create, and I'm gonna use the wizard. Once again, I'm just gonna add all the fields, click on next, and we're gonna use the column view of that form. And we need to give it its name, and it's gonna be FRM, students, and click on finish. So this is our few students form. Currently, we don't have photos of our students, so I'm just gonna delete that section by going into the design and then just cut. This way I can put the subform in here and it'll fit nicely on screen. Now I'm just gonna save that with a command S and then I'm gonna close everything that's currently open. This way I've got a nice clean workspace. Now what we wanna do is enroll students. So we need to have enrollments as our subform. So once again, we'll go up to create, we'll do it with the wizard, but it's gonna be a little bit different this time. And we're just gonna bring the course ID across and click on next. We're gonna use the spreadsheet view and we need to give it a name of SFRM for subform and click on finish. So this now will become part of our student form. So a student will be the parent. So we can open that first and then we need to go in design view and the actual enrollment is gonna be the child subform. So I just drag that out and drop it in here. Now there's different selections on a form. Notice at the moment we've got the outer bounds of this form. If we look at data, you notice there's a link between the master field and the child field. So student ID up here and the student ID that's contained within the enrollment table. So that is the parent and this is the child as specified over here. Now what we wanna do, now if I select different areas such as a field itself or the form corner here, you notice that the data is different. So to see the parent and child relationship, you must select the container that it lives in and this gives you your parent and child or your master field and the child field. Now once we've done that, we can save this form. This saves form students, so this one here, and then we can go into the runtime view. So at the moment, this is our enrollments. I'm just gonna make that a little bit bigger by going into the design view. We can turn off the navigation and handles and all those sorts of things for it, but we won't do that at the moment. Now in here, I can now assign a student to a class. So in this case here, student ID one is Leon Marsden. I can then come in and select information communication technology at year seven. I can then also select English. Now, what I'm gonna do is leave this form and now go have a look at enrollments. You can actually see that those two subjects I just created in the form subform now appear here. If I go back to the student form, you can see that I have classes. If I go to the next record, which is the next student, in this case here it's Lisa Simpson, so we can actually allocate her to information IPT, and we can also put her in an English class as well. And when I leave that field, that saves the data. So now I can go check that that data's been saved successfully by closing the table again, open the table up in enrollments, and you can actually see those enrollments have been completed. And you can use that form subform as a way of effectively enrolling students. And if you've got your relationship set up correctly with dual primary keys, 
It will also stop you from enrolling a person into the same subject twice. So if I decide to enroll into English a second time, when I press tab, you get an error saying that it's a duplicate. So therefore, you can stop duplicated data from being entered into your database, increasing your integrity. So this is how we can create a form subform using some... Now, if you apply your skills in form management and navigation, changing the fonts and colors, you'll have an effective interface for your end users.